Today, we'll talk about biggest trader mistakes and how to avoid them. Why 99% of traders still keep doing it? We'll talk about everything stop loss hunts, liquidity pools, smart money concepts, order blocks, optimal trade entry. Everybody talks about trading strategies, but nobody talks about how to be a better trader. Today will be the day you'll learn the secrets of pro traders, stop loss positioning, multi-level targets. We have so much to cover. If you're ready, let's start. Welcome our free trading course. We only talk about price action trading strategies and smart money concepts. With this video, you'll learn how to become winner trader from a losing trader. If you are looking for a structured table of contents, I set it up for you. You can find it on Google Drive or directly from my website, which is in the description. It is important to watch videos in order to fully understand everything. Let's start with the daily chart and slowly go into lower time frames. Along the way, I'll explain what most traders do wrong and why I keep repeating the same mistakes. As you know, the price bounced off this nice daily imbalance. There was also this daily flip point. Once the price cleared all the liquidity, it made a quick and sudden reaction. Now switching to the 4 hour time frame. Let's talk about mindset of high time frame traders and trading styles. You can divide traders into two parts, day traders, also scalpers, and other kinds of traders. Who are these? Swing and position traders, maybe also investors. These people concentrate on much higher time frames, generally beyond 4 hour time frames, and they hold positions for days, weeks, or months. From the perspective of a swing trader, this high is quite critical, which creates the deepest low. If I want to swing trade assets, I need to see this high taken out. Clear market structure shift, with a pullback I would place an entry from this breaker block. What I would be aiming for is a thousand of dollars price movement, exactly the opposite of day traders and scalpers. Okay. Who are the day traders and scalpers then? We are market biters. Get in and out as soon as possible from the market. No imagination, no dream, no hope. We get in and out. We do not care about the general bias. We look at the chart where the price is and where the closest target is. That's it. Imagine this is a daily trend. Higher time frame trends will be much clearer. As a swing trader or position trader, you may place a trade like this. However, when you open 15 minute or 5 minute charts, everything will be crazy like this. So much volatility, price moves up and down. As a day trader, your job is to get in and out as soon as possible. Placing micro trades like this keep biting the market. Then what? 99% of traders keep doing the wrong thing. The first thing is unrealistic targets. They trade 5 minute charts but set a 4 hour target. They start to imagine they can get 50 hour profit. A simple scalping could be completed in a couple of minutes or hours. But beginner traders turn scalping into a week long trade due to unrealistic targets. Using very tight stop losses is a mistake for most traders. Even if I warn new day traders, they keep doing it. Then they got beaten by the market every day. Finally, you need to understand this. If you trade 1 minute or 5 minutes, the trend will keep changing up and down. The longer you wait in a trade, your stop loss risk becomes higher and higher. Let's continue with the trade by using the 30 minute chart. Do you remember this structure from the last videos? Price strongly changed the market structure here, creating this nice breaker block, which also bounces from the 26k round number. I kept the structure to look for further trades. Let's dive into the 15 minute time frame and see what is going on. Price dives into this nice and large 15 minute imbalance. But what happens right before that? Check this equal loss. 
This is no ordinary equal loss. This is perfect equal loss to the tick. 100% designed for hunting because it is at the right top of a very important key structure. Let's zoom in on this area within the 5 minute time frame and continue discussing. Here we have a little more complex structure than normal. It will confuse you, but I will make it clear. First thing first, check the swing failure pattern. Again, not a simple liquidity hunt. This hunts the perfect equal laws and creates the inducement. Okay, let us focus on this deepest lower law, a very important law. Can you tell me which swing high point creates this swing law? Can we call this little movement a swing? Which one is the right breaker block? If I give this chart to 1000 traders, I will not get a certain outcome. Sometimes charts will be quite subjective. My breaker block may not be the same as yours. This is the second big mistake of traders, spending their time with uncertain structures. Let's make the wrong right. Stop wasting your time with unclear structures and questions. Focus on clear and certain structures. We have a certain shift in structure. We have a certain order block here without any questions. We have a certain and clear imbalance. Furthermore, we also have a certain balanced price range here. Not only that, we have certainly have a very high quality break here, a displacement. No question, no doubt, no worries. So let me repeat it again. Do not waste your time with, is this MSP? Is this an order block? Is this break of structure? Is this breaker block? If you are not certain or you have questions on your mind, skip it. Focus on what is clear and certain. Let's get back to my trade. Once the price drilled into the imbalance and balanced price range, I watched the price action. Then I decided to take the trade, a simple 2R setup. My stop loss was under the order block area, the most optimal location to achieve my 2R target. But why? So simple. I have cautioned myself for a possible pullback to the imbalance and order block. This is the third rung of new traders, tight stop losses. You're competing against billion dollar algorithms and traders with decades of experience. How could you use tight stop losses? Let's zoom back a bit, switching to the one hour chart. Check the trade. Can you see it? Very, very tiny looking, right? This is what a scalper and day trader is. Market biters. Get in and out instantly. That's what we do. When you are in low time frames, the price will be heavily volatile and keep changing up and down like this. Mark this warning. As a day trader and scalper, the longer you are in a trade, your stop loss risk will keep getting higher and higher. You must conclude your trade or take profits as soon as possible with the closest target. Of course, you can take profit, use break even, and leave some for runners. It is a choice. Okay, folks, this is it. This is how you fix your mistakes and move on. These are great trading strategies for scalpers and day traders. I hope you subscribe to the channel and like the video. Thank you. Please take care and see you soon.